Finding the right QE bootcamp is challenging, especially since we have dozens of them in the US, hundreds or even thousands of them all over the world. They have a different prices, but most of them will offer you same theoretical materials. The biggest differences that I found so far are mentors and the practical experience that you are getting from the course. Some companies will not even offer that. So today I'm going to share five questions you can ask any QE bootcamp. Find out how legit are they and if they're going to help you to get a job and how much value are you going to get from them overall. As I've been working as the QA engineer, lead manager and engineering manager for more than nine years in this field and I've hired quite a lot of people and also I've helped quite a lot of people to become a QA engineer from scratch. So let's get directly into those five questions and find out how not to overpay for the course. First one, how is this course going to help me to get the job? This is kind of a tricky question and most of the time throughout your life you would feel shy to ask it, but I highly recommend to do so now when you're on a call with the bootcamp. As in the response, you will hear the best that the company offers or a bootcamp offers. Well, at least you should hear the best. And if the response doesn't contain words internship or practical experience, I would highly recommend you to think twice before considering this one, as what would be the difference between free YouTube videos and the theoretical materials that they offer if you do not get any internship or practice? An answer from the first question, let us do the second one, which sounds like, can you describe an actual experience I'm about to get and how will it help me to land the job? As you can hear, I'm very direct about a job, because you should not be interested in the theoretical knowledge only, as you are paying quite a lot of money and you should get the value from that money. And an answer from this question should bring you a feeling of confidence, because if a company offers actual real internship or practice in the company, they will be clearly able to talk about it and to talk about the startup or a company you are about to be an intern or you are about to work with. Third one, and probably the most important one for me, ask who am I going to be learning from? or who's going to be my mentor in a school. Because the mentor is the person who explains pretty much all of the materials for you or helps you and main thing motivates you to become a better person to learn or to learn new materials. When I was in a school, I never enjoyed philosophy until I've got a cool mentor or the right teacher. That guy not only made me enjoy philosophy, he also gave me the challenge by the end of my days in school. He asked me to learn philosophy in English. Can you imagine that? I never knew English very well before I went to the United States. So while I lived in Ukraine, I was learning philosophy in English just because I had a cool mentor. So that's exactly why you gotta make sure you are going to be learning from interesting people. So what you can do, you can ask not only who's going to be teaching you, but also ask them about their LinkedIn profiles. If the person who's going to teach you does not have LinkedIn profile, that's a very red flag because all of the QA specialists, I would say 99% of the QA specialists or those who at least worked in IT sphere would have a LinkedIn profile. If they do not, well, I would think twice. Fourth, and probably the weirdest question you could possibly ask, but I promise it's going to be very helpful as you will get a lot of red flags when you ask this question, which sounds like, what's gonna happen if the mentor does not know answer to the question I am asking about? The person will not feel comfortable answering this question because usually you don't get one. But this is a real situation that have happened to some of the QA engineers that I've met in Los Angeles. I talked to a lot of QA engineers as I've been in the QA field for more than nine years and the person said that she learned from one of the most popular boot camps in the United States, I will not call the name, and she asked the question during the call, during the webinar. And, and, and the person mentoring said that, oh, I don't know. And the call and or the webinar ended right on that moment. This is the weirdest situation I've ever, unfortunately it did happen. But when you guys ask this question, make sure you will not get an answer from the responder from the bootcamp that will say that, oh, our mentors know all of the answers to the questions as they are very experienced and they have been working on the field for a long time. This is impossible because no one is perfect. No one will ever know 
answers to all the questions. Myself, sometimes I get the question about the tools that I've never used or technology that I've used for a long time. And I simply say, oh, that's a really good question. You know what? I haven't worked with that tool for a long time. Let me refresh my mind and I will get back to you during our next call. This is okay answer. Everyone should accept that they're not perfect. And if you do not get this type of answer, well, think twice. So make sure you do not get a lie in response. Lie is always a red flag. The last and the most important one. Where can I find reviews from the people who already went through your school and their contact information? As I would like to talk to them directly. This conversation will be a killer in some cases because not a lot of schools will provide you that information. The thing is, if you do not know that most of the businesses that are just opening up in the United States will put a lot of fake feedback or a lot of fake reviews on their website just because they want to look like they have been on the market for a while and they had a lot of cool and happy customers. How can you find out if those are fake or not? You can simply ask for their contact information. If the company does not provide it, that's a red flag. If the company does provide it, but you can only message them, I would ask for a phone number. If you're talking to the person and if you feel like it's not an honest person, well, think twice. But in most cases, if the company is legit, if they had a lot of successful students, the students will be happy and will be thankful and grateful to school and will jump on a call anytime just because they want to give some energy back, they want to pay back to the company. So make sure to ask that question because during my days, when I was hesitating if I should go for a bootcamp or not, I found a girl on a YouTube and I asked her, hey, did you go to that school? Did you really find a job? And yeah, we jump on a call, we jump on a video call, she had no problem. And I went to school and I actually changed my life afterwards. But a lot of people who I was talking to before that told me that, hey, those people in the internet, those are scams. I've seen a lot of those. You should join our construction company and work with us. I fully respect my friends who told me that, but the thing is, it exists and you can change your life very quickly, but you have to work really hard to do so. The conclusion of this video is to make sure that you know who you are working with and learning from. And also, make sure those are honest people. Now, if you guys have any questions or if you would like to learn about a QA course that I offer, feel free to give me a call or send me a message. I'm going to leave all the information right below this video. Now, you gotta hit that big fat thumb up button below this video, subscribe to my channel and join our Instagram and Telegram communities. You guys have a good one. I'll see you next time.